You're listening to the Reluctant Adult Podcast. If you like what you're hearing, follow us on social media and leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. This is the way. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. This week, from the internet, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, and these Deadpool popcorn buckets has us feeling squeaky AF. Plus, we're all the spy on Disney's limited edition D23 exclusive Star Speeder 3000. And Mask Hysteria. NECA fans brave FYE stores in search of the elusive Ben Cooper collection. Since the beginning of time, man has yearned to destroy the sun. It's the Reluctant Adult Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who would like to speak to your manager, Bill. Hi, everyone. That's right. And get what I want. The man that won't take no for an answer. No. So last week, Bill showed off his, his, it's, is it kid pool? No, it's baby pool. It's baby pool. Played by Ryan Reynolds' infant child. Although that character was definitely CGI. So I don't know oh, what 100%. the hell they're talking about. Right. I don't know what you're talking about saying that the baby played that character. Maybe the audio, but even that, I doubt. Probably the, the lie. Google Gaga. Stuff. Trying to make it a family affair. Come on. Anyway, so yeah, Bill the told the kid. story about how it would. Would you go on a Wednesday before the movie was even out? I did, I did because I had heard that Regal was. You know, some some theaters it's the day of. You have to get the popcorn sure. bucket the day of, yeah. and they won't sell it before that. But Regal puts it out a couple days before. So I said, I'm going to try yeah. my luck. And I was talking to my cousin today about it. And I go, I tried calling ahead of time to see if they had it yeah. in the first place. Save myself yeah. a trip because the closest sure. regal for close. me yeah. is a little under an hour. So it's like, oh, that's, a, oh that's a trek for nothing if there's nothing there. Sure. So I wasn't able to get in touch with them. I found out when all the movies were playing because they're really good like that. But God, oh, God sure. help me to try to find an actual person to speak to on the movie phone. Yeah. Yeah. So you show up. You get, Showed up. You, did you go to see a movie or you just went for the popcorn bucket? I just went for the popcorn bucket because there was, I mean, okay. I was towing along two kids at the time. You made, you drove an hour. I drove 45 not minutes. Even know, not even knowing yeah. that there would be popcorn buckets available. You show this, up, you, you go up to the counter. I go up to the you counter. You see in the display that there is a popcorn bucket there. You right, say, so I, I would like one baby pool popcorn bucket and well then first, what does the well first i okay, go but... to the kid i say yeah. are you selling the popcorn bucket wait let's not let's not he say says, kid. he let's says we're say selling the concessions a... attendant he's not cons- a child he is okay. employed we have the... labor laws in this country he's not a child he is an employee of the theater okay the theater so the concessions attendant I go up to him. Yes, I say, you. "Are you selling the Deadpool popcorn bucket?" And he said, "We're selling one, but it's not the one you're thinking of." Which I'm assuming he meant the what Wolverine popcorn he just, bucket. He just assumed he assumed, he thought he could read your mind, right? That I was looking regular for the, I was Professor looking for X the, <laughs> or, or Cassandra, uh, or Cassandra I guess, Nova. There, yeah, yeah. Yes. He has he has fingers feeling, all up in my face, feeling up in yeah, that cranium. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "What's going on?" I was like, "Stop! <laughs> That's not the bucket I want." So no, I wasn't looking ah. for the Wolverine one. 
So I said, no, well, I'm not mm-hmm. interested in that Wolverine one anyway. I know you guys aren't carrying it. I go, I'm interested in the one you have in the case. That's like when you're at Disney and people are like, where's Harry Potter? Where's the Harry Potter? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You're in the wrong. You spent a lot of money to come oh. to the wrong place. Where's so you Harry finally Potter? clarify that you want the one. You basically, you point at it. You're like, I, I want that I want one. the one in the case. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the baby pool. I think and he, that I go, and I, go, and I think says, that one's what? more interesting anyway. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, we're selling it. I go, can sold... I grab one? Yeah. And I even and went as far as it. saying, yeah, he gets it. And I said, so does it come with the, because sometimes you buy the, you buy the popcorn, you also get the, you buy the bucket, you also get the popcorn with it. Sure. Regardless. Yes, that absolutely makes sense. It's a popcorn bucket. Right. So <laughs> I sense. ask him, yeah. I mean, I ask him, I say, do you yeah. also get the popcorn with this? Thinking, you know, my kids will have a snack in the car on the way home. Sure. On the, the hour the kid, ride home he goes, from getting your popcorn bucket. Yeah, he goes, well, the well, the caveat was, is obviously, there's a Target attached to this. So I said, if we go down there, we get to go to a Target we've never been before. Kids. Oh, wow. So they were they were That's already instantly me. like excited. They were on board, yeah. Yeah. So he goes, no, but I think you get a discount on the popcorn. Okay. I was like, so you get the this bucket. Is ridiculous. It is. It seemed very ridiculous. But he goes like, back to get it for you. And then what? He comes back and says, no, I'm sorry. We're sold out. We're sold out. Yeah. And then you say what? I said, no, you're not. Cause you have one in the, in the, in the case there. Can we sell, can yeah. we sell that one? Right. But that's, goes, how, how did you, how did you say it? How did you say it? How did I say it? How did you say I said, it? I said, well, say the line, say well, the line. No, you're not. Because you've got one right there, and there you're gonna and you're gonna sell that one to me, and you're gonna sell that one. Gonna to me. put it Not on a t-shirt. Going to. Gonna you're gonna you gonna put it on a t-shirt. Gonna. There it is. You're James. So gonna. we put that clip. We put that clip, and you did end up getting it because the kid went back and asked the manager, and he the manager did. is like, "Yes, we are a retail establishment. Would uh, you like to sell things to make money? Yes, of course. I Not did. A I, crazy idea." I feel like, and the manager was smart by doing this because, you know, it's like, if it's the last one, which great yeah. for me because you get that feeling of, oh, I got the last of something. But at least sure. at that point, at least at that point, you're not holding one in the case and then saying, no, yeah. we can't sell that and having to deal with every other jackass who's a little Everyone's bit more assertive be than disappointed. me. And say, no, of we course. can't sell that one, but we are sold out except for that one, which we have to keep on display. That doesn't work. It's easier just to sell them it. all through. Favor. And then say, no, we sold out. Sorry. Sure. Yeah. You're helping them with store policy. Everything yeah, yeah. you did here is great. Now, right. we clip that and we put it on TikTok. And so far, as of today's recording, about 400,000 people <laughs> have viewed that clip. And in the beginning, people were pretty much on your side saying, like, yeah, you know, I would probably do the same thing. But as the night progressed, <laughs> the tide started to turn against you, Bill. That's okay. The word Karen was bandied about. People were calling us children. Entitled. They were questioning whether we, if this is what adults are like today. Right. They were. They Someone were called us a boomer. A which boomer. Is, we're oh. two generations away. We are elder millennials, oh. sir or madam. See, this Jesus is one of those. Christ. This is one of those comment comment threads where you can like pick a couple and yeah. read them out loud and then respond to them. But I'm not going to give that any. Well, I went through and responded to almost. I've every been responding comment. to some of them too. It's been fun, but I oh, mean, like you? reading them, maybe, reading them aloud and like up. having a response. Sure. No, I, anything yeah. that anything that. that you touch, I leave alone. Thank you. Um, I probably should have pulled up some, but if you just want to go on our TikTok, it's probably more fun that way. Go on I, there and read them, and then you can see our responses to the yes, people. Yes, yes. I mean, we all take everything with such a light heart. I mean, I'm not, I'm not offended by what anything anybody says because nobody knows me. Unless at a they personal call you level. racist. <laughs> There's that, too. Yeah, that, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> so this, it's funny, though, because, you know, I just posted that clip not really thinking anything about it. I just yeah, it you didn't edit it at all. It was, show pretty much, it was pretty much a linear cut yeah, of it. I just, and I really just wanted to show off the popcorn bucket, thinking that people had just seen the movie and would be interesting to see it. Yeah. Not, not really realizing the impact it would have. So much so that Adventures in Collecting posted a survey on their Instagram asking if they thought that you were in the right if you were a karen or if you were a psychopath and uh, don't look so shocked currently that you are in the right is leading okay but at less than 50 percent. so if you combine the other two 
more people think you're a Karen and, and or a psychopath than were in the right. So go vote. <laughs> if that, if that, it's a story. So it'll be gone by the time you you hear this. But wow, did we did, go did we clear them on that? I don't our even podcast. Did we clear them on that survey? It's it's the internet. You can just oh, do whatever you want. You can I just guess. But they re- reposted the 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 video, so it helps okay. us. It's all very. It's funny. Usually, if something does well on TikTok, it won't do well on on Instagram and vice versa. Yeah. This video is blowing up everywhere. Like oh, people so love fun. it. They Man. love it. Yeah, it's it's so funny. Uh, I don't even, I hope it's not lightning a bottle cuz I I mean I've been having fun all day. You know, I'm just like <laughs> you know, in the in the the I'm like a local celebrity at this point. It's one of those For real. For real. I'm telling you, we got to get shirts printed up, but when you start that's the line. We got to get something with your face. If you're an artist <laughs> out there, Make a little caricature of Bill or something with a popcorn oh. bucket. Make make you make you as the popcorn bucket. That's what yeah. we got to do. Oh my God! <laughs> People using your head like the Dune popcorn bucket. Somebody oh. make it happen. <laughs> Wait, no. Well, didn't well, I'm, a- I'm surprised our other friends from from the uh, from the library yard sale didn't get a hold of this and were like, "He's at it no, again, they, folks." I think they. Well, that that's that's true. I should have, that was gonna be my comment that it's like when you're not bullying children at the yeah. theater, you you're going to steal from from. <laughs> we just need a list of the things you do. It's I do just, terrible. At, I mean, I guess I just you just you're just a terrible person. <laughs> I, just I don't see myself person. that way. I mean, I feel like I feel like the real I don't, the real Bill. Well, I was gonna say the real Bill started to come out in our interview with Greg Stone. Greg Stone. Because you you were saying some things. It was really coming out of you. I was you, a, more I reserved was, on this I show. was a shy, reserved child all the way through high school. Yes. And it's... Yeah. Most clubs came off. You're making eventually. up for lost time. You Gotta know. do it. Well, speaking of that, if, if you have not listened to the bonus podcast with Greg Stone, please do. It's very funny. I um, swear. We... You be, well, that's, yeah, tune in for that. If you want to hear Bill swear. And it's on the, on the podcast version, totally unedited. The YouTube version, I tried to cut out the F words because they yeah. don't like that so much. But podcast, you can hear Bill say the F word. It's a magical oh, time. Wow. Um, <laughs> we had a lot of fun. With yes, we did. Greg, we're going to do some some more work with him in the future. Check out his special on YouTube. Nobody presents Greg Stone. It is is actually funny. <laughs> some comedians are not funny. I found him to be very funny. So check that out. Um, so you had your moment in the spotlight. I, too had a moment or it's currently happening because my episode of behind the power with Rick Schick has finally premiered on YouTube. We talk about power Rangers. Rick Schick was one of the original VFX artists on the show on the original mighty Morphin power Rangers. We talk about toys and how he used toys to create the show. So go to behind the power VFX on YouTube. Check it out. Um, share it <laughs> i watched it it's like very the, professional it was i was gonna a, say it was it's the most was professional thing i've ever been involved with yeah very, it i sent it like... to my mom she's like thank you for mentioning me in it i was like that's right <laughs> i did mention that you like called toys r us to get the dragons award for me oh my gosh very, she, she's calling was... places did she show up and say you're gonna give me the dragon's award <laughs> she did she showed up and threatened to yeah. shake down the toys r us employees yeah. oh man did I? T- I've t- I think I've told this story before. Yeah. My mom, she she loved us so much, she, and she like would definitely break the law for us. She there was a time when they sold these stuffed animals called Puppy Surprise. I think. Yeah. Where it was a mother dog, and inside right. the mother dog were puppies, but you didn't know how many puppies mm-hmm. were in the dog. You would have to wait till you got it home and open it up. My mom said. My children are going to get the maximum number of puppies. So she opened those toys in the store until she found one oh that had the goodness. most puppies. And then those are the puppy this surprise. So week. it was not a puppy surprise Next for week, us. We knew. This is your mom's week. <laughs> to be. This is my mom's. This is my early Mother's Day gift. She yes. she was the best mom. She is the best. She's still with us. <laughs> she's the best mom. But as kids, she's the best, like... I don't know. I guess we would probably do that for our kids today, but maybe that's where it comes from. Oh, yeah. She's the best mom. She she is the best mom I've ever had. The best mom is is my wife, hey, my children's mom. I didn't mom. speak up about my best mom. Hey, you know, you, well, know, you listen, can't just... We all know your mom is the best. 
We Everyone's have four mom's great the best. moms right here. Everybody in this this little conversation has a great mom. Is somehow connected to a great mom. So. Yes. Let's talk more about me being mean to retail. Yeah. Stores, though. That's nobody's gonna watch this clip. No one's gonna <laughs> share this clip. Oh, be more mean to people. Come oh. on, Jesus. But I do want to thank uh, Rick and Vic and everybody behind, behind, behind the power. Um, I I met Vic through he's a, he was just a fan of the show, and then I happened to do that Power Ranger convention, mm-hmm. and then he knew he had my number, and he said, "Hey, we need someone to talk to Rick about toys. You want to do it?" And I said, "My voice sounds about what it sounds like right now. I was just getting over a cold, but sure." So I slipped on my cake worthy Power Rangers hoodie. Is that the name that's cake worthy? Is that who I think that me? sounds right. I think that's right. I got to tag pie worthy, so they more free stuff. Strudel worthy. No, it was cake, wasn't it? Yeah, it, was it wasn't pie. Pie worthy is weird. So I slipped on my hoodie and I marched down there and and uh, I don't. That was like six months ago or something, but yeah. finally premiered. I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. So there you go, go watch it. Come on. Talk about it's not uh, long either. That's the best part. It's just like a little. Yeah, it's like seventeen minutes. Yeah, it's great. It's very flashy. It's very flashy. You get to see my whole body. You <laughs> get a little to extra find of me at the time. They, they reveal not your last name, time. which is he says my last name, which I don't love. I don't I love that. Like, but that's oh, okay. No. <laughs> I never even mentioned that to him. I don't know. Rick like looked me up on LinkedIn or something. I don't know how he got that. Oh my! Try goodness. to ignore that part. People are going to be putting two to two together to find out where I shop. They're going to yes. go to my Ollie's and get that MODOK that, that before target I target you're always it. going to. Well, I, I switch it up. There's at least three. There's three so targets. Like, but I'll hit them all at the same day. So it's like it's it's like the uh, what's, what's the cups the cups game where you like, you know, where's the ball? I don't know. Where's the ball? Oh, yes. What target is that? <laughs> Should do a, a – that's going to be the toy we put out where it's like a Russian nesting doll of different targets. And then the final doll is me inside of all the targets. Oh, very nice. Or not. I don't know. We're just spitballing here. So that was that. Um, I think before we go any further, we want to give a shout out to one of our favorite people, Lil Steve. Lil Steve oh, Austin gosh, on TikTok. Lil Steve Austin. Lil Steve 316. You've made a friend by me. Well, he was already my friend, and now he's was your he? friend. He's my friend. He We're just like this. He was at he was at Comic Con and he yeah. picked up, he knew. He knew that we were fans of the uh, Cobra Commander. Yeah. Well, exclusive. he didn't know. He just and... he he had he had private messaged you, said, "Hey, yeah. well, hey he, guys, he watched, I'm he knows he watches the show, so he knows." Oh, that he does. Okay, so he knows. Yeah. So he, you know, yeah. he said, "Hey, is that, I'm going to the show. If there's anything that you guys are interested, just let me know." Which is great because yeah, he was just like, "I'll pick up anything," and I said, "I would like that eighteen thousand dollar T Rex head." Yeah, you were joking around, and I was like, he's not, "I was not like, that hey. good of a friend." <laughs> I was like, "Hey." You know, I'm looking for the the once was a man Cobra Commander. And he oh, delivered. you asked for it? I didn't even know. You oh, yeah. Specifically I didn't even it. realize oh, okay. that he, he didn't respond. So, I mean, he mailed oh, you, it. I was joking around. Hey, get I was just story. joking. I mean, I haven't even opened it out of the, hey, out of the box yet. Hey, send me free stuff. Yet. I'm just joking. Hey, I paid for this. Well, I didn't, there's no free stuff. No, I, under, no, I understand. But he so, sent you a bunch of so the cool thing. I mean, there's a lot of cool oh, things about Lil C. Boston. Yes. But very unique thing about him is, is when he sends you something, he sends he packs it full of extras. It's like I Christmas didn't expect morning. That. I didn't of expect trash. that. So I'm literally like, I get the box yesterday. We're gonna get the yeah. Cobra Commander out here right now. Live unboxing. There it is. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's lenticular too. I do love oh a God. good lenticular I do love package. A good lent- yeah. That's, oh, look at that. That's, that's I was watch a man. Red so man. You got Roadblock like rhyming in his ear. That's just fantastic figure. It's fantastic. Beautiful. It's it's two figures technically. It is, right? Yeah, and you can wrap that you can wrap the snake portion around Roadblock's neck. Yeah. Right out his eyes. He was blind for like half that movie. Walking trudging through the snow of Cobra Law. It's the worst place to be blind. So, yeah. So I'm like, he gives me this heavy box of stuff. And I'm like, what is all this? And it was like swag, which is great. So like, sure. stuff to like look through, like little comic books and mm-hmm. stuff from the show, from Comic-Con. Stuff from the show, just like a little piece of information about the, the day. Let's stuff he see. didn't want, he didn't want, but didn't want to throw away. Maybe. Send it to you. The little, little religious pamphlets that you find. Yes, th- he did mention that the, uh. The uh, the hooray for God people were out there, g- which was giving out their comics. This was hilarious to me because about 
I would say eight or nine years ago, we were up in New Hampshire walking a trail and I found one of these and it was, and I didn't realize that it was religious and it was called the walking <laughs> dead. And it was just like attached to a tree. And I was like, what the heck is this? Oh. I don't care if someone put something on it. So I grabbed it and I didn't realize it was a religious pamphlet with, with some, uh, info on it but yeah it's called the walking Dead. advertising yeah oh there's a power ranger for you... morphicon power morphicon oh i would have liked that did he get send you any build a figure parts no build a figure parts one time is a Just key chain for the cruise oh, a couple nice. fun pins from hasbro pulse is megatron Ooh, there was a rattler great. a couple lanyards and then this is the most exciting thing and i gotta tell you because this is going a long way. So, first of all, he sent two bags, which is great. Mm -hmm. Like reusable like tote bags. bags. Tote bags. Yeah. So, and in one of them was nicely wrapped, a nice little yes! autograph. The autograph photo of little Steve. Yep. I still have mine. I this love is going to go framed. So I'm going to put it right next to my kids on the wall. Yeah. But. <laughs> Your family photos. Yep. Tote bag number one, mm -hmm. The Simpsons. Oh, we love that. This is tremendous. Eyes are green. It's freaking yes. me out. Nice. What happened nice. to him? Actually, this is a backpack. This is a backpack. It's not a. It's not a oh, tote. it's like a. It's a tote backpack. That's it's a new tote technology. Backpack. That's so, very smart. This wow. is great. And then this is this is to me this is the greatest thing. And in my family, like tote bags and things to carry. Mm -hmm. People get jealous over them, so sure. this has now become my new bag for ripping off yard sales. Love it. Because quite literally, you unfold this monster and I just disappear. It is gigantic. That's that is a lot of bag. It Holy is literally bag. like 3 by 3 feet. You like, got to take I, that to like Goodwill's fill a bag for Boy Scout bucks. yard sale at the end of this month. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Take I had my kids fill your in own this squishy today. day. It was great. You put your kids in it? They both fit, yes. Wow. It's as wide as it is deep. That's, That's what, what she, she said. said. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want her to say that, but yeah. Well. No. It's no fun. So listen. <laughs> so. <laughs> what? So don't be that him. funny. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. Don't be that funny. So, Come so on. little three, little little Steve three sixteen. Thank you so much, little Steve. Thank you so much, little Steve. I can, every time, hundred percent appreciated. He is, he is, he is the best. He is the yes. best giver. We gotta put that secret Santa together this year so that we can just get gifts from him. Oh, fun. <laughs> yes. Uh so I think we should probably talk about Deadpool because we've both seen it. We have at this point. Yes, and. I saw it first. I did not spoil it for you. Thank well, you. I, let me ask you this. How much of it was spoiled for you before you saw it? Because you talked last week about your mom was giving out names. Well, let me ask you this. Right. What were the names that your mom mentioned when she, she mentioned was reviewing it? She mentioned Channing Tatum. Okay. So and I knew she mentioned that that Jennifer Garner. Okay. So that another one where that had been rumored for a long time. Right. So I, I don't think that i mean uh, if you didn't know it would have been a fun surprise but i think we kind of had an inkling that that was going to happen i wouldn't Were have had an inkling i was you had I no was idea no okay. idea <laughs> would you have even had would you have even known that was channing tatum dressed up yes. as gambit yes i would have known, known because okay. i would have said oh that's the channing tatum they were trying to pitch that they so were, long ago and it never it never movie, got yeah. off the ground couldn't probably for the best Probably for the best. I, I think feel we can like all agree it. Yeah. On that now. Yeah. yeah. I don't no, think I mean, that would have worked. That I don't think that could have been a serious movie. I'm like, I'm like, what's the, it was the, very the sock accurate. on the head? It was very accurate, but I was like, it was very, that's, what, is... that's what people wanted. Cartoon accurate, comic yeah. accurate. It doesn't Wouldn't work. work. It, doesn't, it doesn't translate. I don't know. Sometimes things don't work. Now, I will say that I 100% had no idea Chris Evans was in this movie. Same. And when he reveals himself, I also was like, oh, Captain America. And then right. he did the, the Johnny, Johnny Storm thing. And I was like, this is amazing. Yep, it makes was, much more sense I that think he I would was, be that I version. Was, I was surprised by that. And I think that was the one main surprise that really got me yes. got me excited. I was like, yes, that's was this is terrific. <laughs> What's crazy is that they shot 
a lot of the stuff in the void practical and there were a lot of leaks because we saw i think saber tooth we saw a lot either chris evans was never practically on set physically on set or those leaks were staged because how could they leak the other stuff and not leak that chris evans was there sure so it makes you think it makes you think it does make you think I thought. Did you stay till the end for the after credit scene? I did not because I so I went to a oh. very I went to a very late show and my old adult okay. body at twelve o'clock was couldn't, like this was this was uh, the decision was made early on. I put the be- the kids down. I went to my wife. I said, "What should I do tonight?" And she said, "You could either go down mm. and clean the basement, or go and clean the <laughs> attic." God. And I said, "Well, you know, listen. Ooh. I go. I already cleaned the attic. It's good. I go. What I want to do is see a movie because." Mm-hmm. what i would be doing is just watching tv so why not sure. just go see a movie mm-hmm. and that was the she whole allowed that yeah she gave yeah. me permission to she gave that. me permission she said yeah you can bring your well, girlfriend i just want to say I was like yeah i'll bring her she doesn't exist that's why bring i'm here your girl your, with your second uh defibrillator that you take everywhere yeah your travel yeah what is it called CPAP. CPAP. Yeah, the CPAC. 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 Yeah. like the greg said you should get the second one should um, about it all week. I mentioned this. I mentioned the after credit scene because it's very funny in context. Because in the movie, Deadpool says that Chris Evans says all this shit about Cassandra Nova, yeah. but we never see that. But no. in the after credits, we go back to that scene where they're traveling, and sure enough, Chris Evans says all of the shit that Deadpool said he said. Yeah. And Deadpool's like, gotcha, motherfucker. <laughs> like, right. it was just a very funny button on that joke. Now, so you missed out. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't. I had to ask today. I was like, was there one? Because at, at this point, it's like, so I, I enjoyed the movie enough. I don't know if I enjoyed the okay. movie enough to see okay. it again. Hold on. All right. Hold on. I don't so think this is where over. this is. Well, I, I, I don't I'm not, I don't need to. I'm not getting paid from the Deadpool people. But I will yes. say I enjoyed this movie so much. It okay. was the most entertaining movie going experience i've had in a long time yeah and i would very happily go back to pay to see it again because there was so much in it and even just that very first musical number yeah. is worth the price of admission alone now okay. i asked you what did you think of it and you said i probably or i asked you did you like it and you said probably not as much as other people yeah. so what didn't you like about deadpool i f- i mean it's someone's gonna be like he's gonna take an L on this one, but I just well, feel worried like about them. I'm not worried about don't them. Don't worry about I'm the people. I'm not worried people. about them. I'm Speak not worried your about truth. the people. I Speak just feel. Truth. I feel like it suffers once again this convoluted mess where you can't just like jump in and see yeah. the movie fresh. You have to see like eight other things in order to even even okay. though Deadpool references every one of them and is like, oh, by the way, yeah. You have yes. to watch Loki episode, and that's the joke too. It's like, yeah, yeah you got to watch Loki right. episode five to figure out who this giant dog monster is in the in the sky. Yeah, the but like, I feel monster. like I feel like this movie in the trilogy itself, and I was thinking about this all day. It almost seems like the Return of the Jedi of the okay. Deadpool trilogy, okay. mm-hmm. and that the first one did well. So not surprisingly but did well, but was like, you know, it was like, Oh, this is something it did very good for an R rated movie, superhero movie. Yes. It, very well. The people, I, I think the people making it were surprised that it did. As yes. Well as it did. And as, because as took Star so Wars and New Pope was a surprise. Sure. Yes. You go to the second one, a little bit more character driven, a little darker. I, sure. again, I feel like the first one's a stronger entry. The third one, and this goes to return of the Jedi and likening it to that just seems like a means to make more money in every single mm. facet. So the bring in every single, money. every single character. So like return of the Jedi, yes. every single alien, hundreds of different aliens in Jabba's palace, Ewoks, all that Ewoks. stuff, Ewoks. Yeah. you know, yeah. everything, different everything, Deadpool. costume changes for everybody. Yeah. Right. And so now we have this with sure. multiple, multiple characters who hadn't had, Marvel Legends figures since the Toy Biz days, yeah. if they had them at all. Oh my god! And now, yes. And now, like you mentioned, it's like this movie. And I had to think about it when you first said it. It was like Deadpool's going to save Hasbro, and I'm like, what does that mean? And yeah. then I'm seeing it oh, now, and it's like they're yeah. set. They're set for like the next five years in terms of releasing stuff yes. if they want to. If they are allowed to make all of these characters, yes, hundred percent. Well, some of them are so safe. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to. I'm just thinking about licensing. Like, if when they made the movie, if like. 
Wesley Snipes signed off on like Miss Rats. Oh, sure. You know? it's, it's possible they did not because yeah. there are a lot of people in this movie. They probably had to skimp somewhere on these contracts. Okay. I mean, it was a so fun movie. You're saying... It was fun, yeah. but I, I don't think it was like, it wasn't groundbreaking. Like, it wasn't like, well, I w- this is the movie that's going to save Marvel. Hold the fuck up. Hold okay. the fuck up. Okay, you hold. don't think this movie was groundbreaking? No. Have you seen other movies like this? Maybe. <laughs> no, come on. No other movie has been able to pull this off. I'm drinking my spicy The coke. fact that they got Chris Evans to come in... Wearing Captain America's outfit, but playing Johnny Storm. Did you they like got Wesley Snipes, who who famously does not care for Ryan Reynolds? They got him to come on board. Yeah, but he didn't have the, to share. He didn't have to share any screen time with with Ryan Reynolds. No, I understand, but still, the fact that he did you like? Up. Did you like that they had to? Yes, take the Tony answer is Stark's yes. Photo. The, anything you say. And cover anything up Peter you say, Parker because. Wait, if they what? use Tom what Holland, happened? it would count as as an what entry happened? to the contract to keep Spider-Man in the MCU. Did you like that? Say it again. I missed the first part. So when Deadpool is being interviewed by Happy Hogan, John Favreau's character. Okay, that was the only part I did not like, but I think we can all agree They on pan that. over to that photo mm-hmm. of Tony Stark shaking Tom Holland's Peter Parker's hand, and the Iron Man mask okay. is covering Tom Holland up. In the photo. Oh, because that would have counted as one of his That would have counted as an appearance, yes. See, I love that because you know that. Someone watching that would think that that means nothing, but you know the exact joke behind it, that they would have wasted an appearance by Tom Holland. That's hilarious. I don't know. Did you laugh out loud at this movie? Because I didn't. I did not. From start to finish, really, I was I, laughing must have just been obnoxiously the time of day. loud. Must have been the time yeah, of day. You, I, you I, didn't I, have the I right chuckled. head space for it. No, you're right. No, it was from from bye bye bye. Yeah. To short Wolverine, comic accurate height Wolverine. I did appreciate. I did appreciate had all me of that. Stitches. Okay. Good God, you look very passed away when he was had the bones my wife's laughing now just from me referencing it when he's sitting next to the bones of wolverine and he crosses Mm -hmm. the skeleton's legs it was perfect it was the greatest thing i've ever seen wow and honestly the fact that they could pull it all together and make a cohesive story and then tom from succession as the villain was was inspired it was all so well casted See, I've never seen Succession, so. Listen, that's not my fault. I told you to watch it. No, I know. It's, I got a list of movies and shows. <laughs> I will say the one thing that maybe I, the one person in this I didn't love, and I feel bad for saying this, is Pyro. Okay. Because he was not a big enough part of the X Men universe to have that role. I feel like they could have got. You don't a think so? Character. He was. He was I in didn't the trilogy. Like he was in the trilogy. I understand. As... But he didn't make anything of himself outside of it. So I don't feel like I feel like if you had a bigger person in that role, because then they kind of like, you know, like they knocked him down. They said not everybody gets a speech. If it was mm-hmm. a bigger person, I would have felt more like that joke worked more. But everything else. Oh, hey, it was Pyro. See, she doesn't know who it is. It doesn't work on that level. It only works on the people that have been watching these films for the last well, twenty-four you were just, years. She's seen them. Well, you were just arguing that he was a big enough part. So somewhere in between. So I guess this movie's not for everyone, but it was for me a hundred percent. It was for me. Okay. And now no, I want action I figures of every single character. I can't say that it was character. terrible. But I just can't say that it was like the most amazing thing that I'd seen. But like you said, I may not have been in the right headspace because it was so late at night. It might, yeah. You you gotta give it another shot. Well, it's too late now. You've ruined it. You can't, you can't. There's no second chance to make a first impression. Fair enough. I feel bad for you, son. But right. alas, where do we go from here? I I okay. Here's what I say. Coming out of this, there will never be another Wolverine. There's no way to cast another actor as Wolverine. Just don't have Wolverine or have Hugh Jackman when you can. But you just can't do it. No one's ever gonna be able to top that. Okay. He had like Oscar worthy scenes in this when he was talking. Yeah. Like he made you feel feelings. I I mean, in I was a comic just kind of like movie. 
I was just kind of like, oh, this is this is the origin of this Wolverine that he like he was the drunk and that he left and then he came back and all the yeah. X Men were dead and I was like, that's that's why he's sad. Well, sure, it's his fault. He was out drinking and they got decimated. I could have been there with him and saved him. <sighs> you're way you're way too into like the timeline and like what makes sense. You just got to enjoy yeah. it for what it is. Stop trying to make sense of the multiverse because you can't. You Didn't kill they get rid of that? Didn't they get of rid of it? It's gone now. It's done. It's not done. TVA is still there. Stronger than ever. Oh, okay. Someone was trying to argue that the Logan from Logan is different from the Logan from Days of Future Past because in Logan, he mentions there haven't been any mutants born for 25 yeah. years, but in Days of Future Past, you see kids, so it's I, not possible. I That's thought... The same. I thought Logan. Logan was just a direct continuation of the very first movie, and that was it. Everything in everything in between well, we didn't know. matter. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. They just make it up. They make it all. Everything. It's whatever is convenient at the time. I thought that movie was just like a practical standalone. I think that's the probably the best way to think of it. And if you wanted to connect it to anything, I thought that was I thought that was well established that it only was the it first matter. one. Or it was Deadpool nothing because there's com- there's X Men comic books in that in that movie. You can't. Well, true. That's the thing. None of it matters. It's a mess. Did you have a good time? That's all that matters. I stayed awake. I mean, none that's of, good. None of this matters. It kept you. Listen, I think that was right there is a positive review. It kept yeah. you awake. It there kept was you nobody alive. talking, which was spectacular. Oh my god, it's my favorite. It's so yeah. rare these days. It is. All right, I need a moment to recover from from my astonishment at you not loving Deadpool and then we will liking it but not loving it that's fine listen it's fine I'm I do not you are allowed I know I am to have your opinions you you can you you know what you can bully these kids at the theater but you're not gonna bully me Bill all right you stand your ground stand by stand 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 by it is Florida it is Florida all right we'll be right back if you watched our or listen to our bonus interview with Greg Stone, you heard his opinion of uh, Robert Downey Jr. returning to the MCU as Dr. Doom. This news broke pretty much as soon as we stopped recording last week. Yes, as, so, is, as is tradition with a lot of things. As a tradition, something always happens. That's why we wanted to make sure to have that show afterwards so we could capture right. our thoughts on that. Um, but let's let's rewind a little bit. Now we've had some time to digest the thought of it. We've seen... Deadpool so we know kind of like how they're treating the multiverse now mm-hmm. what do you think of this news I mean I think I'm just as as excited as I was when it was announced so you are excited for it I don't know if I am okay so you're not excited for I it. I want to be wowed by Marvel again I don't want to just be like <laughs> I want to leave the theater being like that was a great experience not just be like oh okay it's more of the same might be gone bill i don't they might might be aged out of it again i think we being the greatest generation were able to live through the one time in history when comic book movies really wowed the audience i don't know that we can get back there collective experience sure is what i and i think it might be gone i think other people are living it but i think they're living it falsely Yes, to be honest with yes. you. They're living in the shadow of what used to be. They've heard right. rumors of what just, it used to yeah, be like, and they're trying the to get back there, but no. Movie. No. We know I mean, what it was like. So Greg made a good point saying that at some point, Doom's always Doom, he said. Like, there's no... Yes. Va- the variants of Doom are just going to be Tony Stark's. And... Yeah, Doom cannot the, be a variant of Tony Stark. Doom has right. to be the original, which means the Tony Stark that we've seen for the past decade plus was yeah. always a variant of Doom if that's how they're going to do it. Sure. So I don't know. Outside of like the story, yeah. I mean, I saw... So did you see the clips? Were those actual clips from that Fantastic Four movie that they showed? So they were or not were they because just... they like only went to England to start filming after those right. things released. They were like, they were like proof of concept things where they shot them to show like, this is what this will look like. This is what this and could it's look weird. like. I didn't like that. You didn't like that. You saw that. I thought it was hokey. 
Yeah. Do you like, like that Mr. Fantastic's going to have a mustache? That doesn't bother me. Does it stretch? Okay. Is it a stretchy mustache? It better. It better Is stretch. Is there going to see where he stretches? When he shaves and he stretches out his, his face to, to shave in the original? No, I, just, the original I just remember when he's dancing at the club and he twirls upside up in the air and it looks really bad. Yeah, the CGI was not ready for Mr. Fantastic no. back then. It was not ready. I'm sorry. And also contacts, too, because the blue eye Jessica Alba was, was freaking me out. No, fair enough. So I don't know how I feel about this. I, I, there's nothing we can do. We can't start a petition to say stop it. And I, yeah. my point that I was trying to make to Greg is that you, in wrestling, if someone cancels, you, re, you replace them with a bigger star. I don't know that a bigger star in the context of superhero movies exists. No, There's been chatter so about Tom Cruise playing a, a, a Tony Stark variant that does nothing for me. That to- doesn't do anything for me. No, Tom At Cruise this point, I feel like is a, Robert technically Downey a big star bigger. They, in the, in, in the context of this film, sure. there is no bigger celebrity than Robert Downey Jr. There's no one else you can bring in. Can you think of anyone? No, I can't because every no. everyone is like almost like fan service. Like this person yes. would be great for it, but we've got Robert Downey Jr. back. Let's be happy yes. about that. There's just no one. It's that, that's how that's how so celebrity and no. Hollywood has been overtaken he, by comic books. And Greg now, brought it. Greg brought up good. He it, it was Robert Downey Jr. and the Russo brothers. So he brought up very yeah. valid points that they have a proven track record. Sure. That what they put into the Marvel Cinematic Universe works out and yeah. brings in tickets and brings in brings in the money and brings in the, the audiences and everything like that. And I, yeah. I believe him because it's like, yes, they yeah. do. Yep. I, 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 I don't know that like artistically it's the best choice, but I think in reality, in terms of saving this universe, keeping it mm-hmm. financially viable... This is what you had to do, and they did it. Now, and they now paid if they whatever came up cost. And they were like, if they came in, they were like, "Nope, Robert Downey Jr. is now Kang." <laughs> what would you say to that? I would be. Have you seen the pictures where he's every character? There's like a, a movie no. where he's dressed as a woman, so he's playing. No. You know, he's playing a female character. What I've been seeing in blackface what I've been for lately. Tropic Thunder, so he's playing Kang. Oh sure, that is. Oh, yeah. then I have seen that. I've been seeing a lot of like the. Uh, if you're familiar and watching House of the Dragon. It's yeah. the uh, she's she's found these dragon seeds, um, dragon riders. Spo- I'm not spoiler. Please. Oh, OK. But like four. but like but like the meme is just like her holding up like it's a photo of her as a coach holding yeah. up like a jersey with the dragon's name on it. And the character like it was like uh-huh. it was like a uh, draft pick. Oh, OK. Hilarious. So it's just kind of funny. It's just kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Got we're, some time. I mean, what? Well, we got some time. But like, what, what's? Yeah, and then, but it's like then it's two movies back to back, two Avenger films. But what do we have yeah, prior? Fine. We have the Fantastic Four. I think yeah. another Spider Man. They got to pull okay. all this shit together. They got to make it seem like a cohesive unit again. And then the Captain America is out in February. That's the next. That's the I, next Marvel is Captain America. I know, but that's like that's still ways away. February now. It's like oh. are we even. I mean, I hope it's good. I just feel like it's going to be one of those things that's kind of like quickly brushed over. It they probably will be. Re- we're going to have to get to configure it through reshoots. And they added the villain like originally had different villains, I guess. Like Seth Rollins was, was a character at one oh, point. Really? And I don't know if he makes the final cut. Do you feel like yeah. the Robert Downey Jr. news eclipsed everything else? Like it eclipsed like Fantastic Four. Are you more excited to see? Yeah. what these Avengers movies are going to be as opposed to everything that comes before it. You know what it did? It did the same thing as James Gunn taking over the DC universe did to all the movies that hadn't been released yet. You knew that these weren't going anywhere, so you stopped caring. Yeah. And I don't think that's the case here 100%, but if these movies were written, conceptualized, and shot prior to them realizing what they were going to do... Mm-hmm. then there's going to be some changes to, to to like where we are, where we go. So I do think that that makes these, not the Fantastic Four, that they must have known, or like they haven't shot it yet, so there's time. And obviously Doom connects to the Fantastic Four very heavily. That's yes, their indeed. villain. Right. So I'm hoping that they knew well enough to make this make sense. 
But we'll see. I don't know. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. If we make it there. Well, hopefully we do. Um, I didn't realize until recently that there's a brand new Batman cartoon on Max from Bruce Tim, and it looks like the new adventures of Batman and Robin. Okay. And it's kind of not the best. I don't... <laughs> like, Have you watched some of it? I watched a couple, and I, like, really stopped paying attention because it was very, like, heavy on the police detectives. And then they made the Penguin a female character, which is a choice. Okay. And then yeah. it's, like, the early years of Batman, so he's got, like, the long ears. And then all the character redesigns are, like, Harley Quinn is there, but she's looks much different. Yeah, like they so, they change these characters to look like. So this they, is a like maybe more this realistic. This is obviously completely new, but stylized similar to New Adventures, right? Is that what I'm exactly. gathering? Exactly. So I did see a make... shot. I did okay. see a shot of him on the rooftop. That iconic yes. Yes. image, and I'm I'm assuming that's part of the intro of the show. Probably, probably. Okay. I need to give is this it on a Max more or serious... is this on Netflix. No, it's on Max. It's on Max. How come I saw it on Netflix? Are you sure? It is because we just got Max so that we could watch Dragons, and that's where oh. I watched it. And I watched some of Beetlejuice so I could be prepared for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. How come oh, in Beetlejuice, geez. his character's name is spelled with a G, but the movie has a J for juice? It's a good question. So in the It's movie, a good question. In the Whenever it's written, because the character is like Beetle Geiss, and that's the yeah. comet, right? That's, it's like the Beetlejuice comet is where it comes from. Right, yeah, but there's then a they lot of merchandise the coming. There's a lot of collaborative merchandise coming out for that movie. Have you seen? Yeah, all well, of it? it's gonna hit. It's like for the hot topic crowd, like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, sure, crowd. they love right. that shit. We're well, they've dead. Got, it's they've fun. Got a, it's they've fun got a mini verse. They've got a mini verse collaboration. Have you seen that in the in your targets that you go to every day with the sandworm? Like that's yeah, the garden, sandworm, the like sand little garden. Japanese yeah. Zen garden. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. That's fun. They've got they've it's got fine. Fanta is doing a collaboration with them as yes. well, and many yes. more. I mean, those are the two that I saw most recently. But I love it. Bring it back. This is what the world's been missing: is these movie tie-in promotions. They are fun. I'm not going to stop until we get glass mugs at McDonald's again. Oh, that's what we need. Yes, lead Batman lead forever. Embossed Batman. Star Wars mugs. Yes, please. That's like my goal. Like I can go out so. Just aside about those about the Batman mugs, I'm only yeah. missing Robin, but I won't. Okay. I want to find the Robin mug at like Goodwill. Right. It's like my dream. Yeah. It's like yeah. So I like to manifest my desires. You have a vision board. I don't have a vision board, but like I feel like that's what I like to do. Like I like to say, you know, at one point, at some point, I'm going to get this by the means that I I want to get this. Case in point, the Deadpool. Mm. And I want to do that with this Batman mug, unless someone gifts it to me. Like, you Rusty can easily get this it. thing for $3, yeah. but I want to just walk into yeah. a Goodwill and find it in the mug collection and be like, there it is. It's my Chris O'Donnell Batman and Robin mug. That's what modern day collecting is like. Like, we could very easily go on eBay and get everything we, we want. We could. But there's no fun in that. We want to there's stumble no upon it. it for 25 cents at Goodwill. That's that's Let's... what we want. Let's clearance. dial in about manifesting and ooh, manifest destiny. If, if you know me, you know, and like you I thought I did. I thought I did. We love Halloween. Uh, right? <laughs> you love Halloween more than you love Halloween shit more than anybody else. I do. I do. You're right. You're right. <laughs> and that's that's yes. There's no denying that. So I love the Halloween season. I don't like any yeah. of the, the pumpkin spice and the autumn feels no. and all that crap. I like no. the scary movies. I like all yeah. the. I like. I like that. Right. That's me. So mm. you were aware NECA was coming out with those Ben Cooper trick or treaters. Yeah, like they're Mego figures of children Mego, wearing yes. those old, the like, iconic 90s, stylized masks. Shitty now, costumes. These go all the way back. These go way back, seventies. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So they were they were released. They came and went. You could buy them on the NECA store. You could buy them on Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. Use code right. Toy Pod to get an extra ten percent. Um, 
Look at you. You are you are Look a professional. At me. That I'm is doing tremendous. my best. I'm doing the You work. don't even get you don't even get any money from that. It all goes don't. to me. <laughs> there you go. That's all right. That's all right. We're doing the work uh, here. So gone. Thankfully out sold out. the toy community some of the toy community is good about sharing. Yes. yes. So I'm on one of the, the larger Facebook groups for action figures. Someone says don't walk, run to your run. local FYE. Yeah. And he's got a picture of these Ben Cooper figures. Yeah. So I say, well, I'm going to get there eventually. So the one closest to us, I like FYE now. It's great. It's like a fun little place. No, we're going to talk about FYE after you're done your story. Okay, you, that's you fine. You do not like FYE. I liked it then. So I get in there. I bring my kid which is always a recipe for disaster because it's like he's leaving with something no matter what. I get in there. I'm looking for it. I'm not going to ask the guys, you know, hey, do you have these? Do you have the NECA trick-or-treaters? Because they mm -hmm. probably don't know. I see, and I asked you too, there was a horror section. They had these. They I found the set, and they had them in almost like a family, like a lifestyle section. So it was like alongside next to Bluey, which is odd. Yeah. Well, yeah, the photo so they you were showed like, with kid stuff. They were like, they were okay. Well, now I'm questioning whether I looked because I, I really did try I don't to think look you everywhere. Looked in the right spot because I I well, stumbled uh, upon these and uh, so yeah. here they are. I mean, I found the person stocking them must have thought they were like kids toys, kid stuff. Because yeah, they kind of, so I mean, they're not horror. They're not really no. Horror. The creature, the devil, sure. Frankenstein, and who else we get? So Skeleton these sold out and from creature. the original Wait, retailers, the and they go for much more than retail on they eBay. They do. Triple what they originally retailed for. Yes. And you got them, not only did you get them for retail, but they, they were having a sale. They were having a sale, which is the best part. So I grab, I'm sitting, I'm standing there, I'm seeing signage all over the place that says buy one, get one, 50% mm -hmm. figures and collectibles. Right. And I say, all right. I go, but you know what? I don't know if it applies to this because there's no signage there. So I just take my five yeah. and I walk yeah. up. Yeah. And he starts ringing them up. Sure enough, one's 26. The next one's 13 bucks. These retail for $20. I'm getting them at cost. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. He goes, yeah. oh, do you want one more to get an extra 50% off another figure? And I'm like, yeah. you know what? I'm just going to go buy another set. <laughs> And flip buy it. All. I, buy you know them what? all. And I'm, well, I'm you didn't flipping have to say that part. I'm it. Nope. It's too bad. You didn't have it's too bad. To say that. These are paying for it. I'm flipping then, the other ones that I got. And no. I'm gonna get my set for free. Uh, no, you don't. You don't have to tell him yeah, that part. No, 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 that's it. That's there's no wholesome part about it. I'm just nope. That's it. I'm gonna get my oh, free toys. Well. And then my kid so, got. So here's the thing. I'm probably not gonna do that because I only found four of them out of the five. You don't have the full Who set. wants that? And then my kid got. Uh, a stripe reaction figure, which was pretty Ugh. cool. That was, was that like 50 bucks. <laughs> That's the weird thing about this place. I don't even know how yeah. they, they operate outside of having sales, which just brings everything back know. down to retail because like, like maybe close. The gremlin was $26. Too, yes. but I was like, what okay. the hell? This is what I'm talking about. So, so rant on. So I was happy. Yes. I, I manifested mm. what I wanted. It came yeah. to fruition. You and know. I'm very happy now. I feel fulfilled with there my little go. dolls. Love it. My little so, doll. My doll. Yes. What are you, gay? That's what are you? <laughs> so the Greg interview. Yeah. I don't actually. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine to be gay. Some of my best friends are gay. My wife is gay. No. Um, <laughs> she just went to an all-girls school. It's fine. Uh, okay. Here's the thing with FIE. And this yeah, is not. This has not always been the case. But in recent years, they have gone insane with their pricing. I picked okay. up, not that I bought it, I physically picked up that one of the Wolverine <laughs> two packs, the, the Hasbro yeah. like year of Wolverine two packs. How much do these retail for on like Entertainment Earth? Fifty bucks, maybe, maybe sixty. Uh, those are the ones that like have like Patch and like Hulk. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so like that one was probably a little bit more just because of the size of the Hulk, but yeah, the smaller ones like fifty five bucks. All right, I want to see because now, okay, so the Seems Patch right. one was sixty. Okay. Then the other ones. What's another character? Okay. 50 bucks. You can get $50. Psylocke and Wolverine for 50 bucks. So the other ones are 50 okay. bucks. Yeah. 
FYE wanted ninety dollars. Oh, nine that's wild. zero for this Marvel Legends two pack. And that's not, like, the craziest thing. Like, it's not like, oh, that was crazy and everything else is priced normally. That's how much toys cost at FYE. They, like, double the price and then take off, like, 10%. Because then you just wait for the sale or the clearance. I don't even know. Are there, like, people who have FYE credit cards that can only shop there, like some gas stations, where it's, like, they know they have these built-in customers? Like, who's paying this? Is it people shopping uh, for their children who don't know any better? How Kohl's operates? Is that it? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. At least you get Kohl's cash at Get your Kohl's Kohl's. cash and your Kohl's card. You can't use it in this visit. You get your FYE cash. It's a joke to go in there and look at the prices. Uh, the gentleman, then, the gentleman there, and you know, you know, bless him for trying. He he tried to get me to sign up for some program that was oh free God. for like the first week, and Stop. then after that, it was like ten dollars a month, and I was like, it's like you can you can literally get it now and cancel it like before you leave Stop, and get ten percent. I was like, this just seems like too much. So the GameStop and I go, trick. I go, it's already a win for me to find these. So thank you so much. I'm not being greedy here, sir. Yeah. I don't need it. Keep your... See? he. That's why he was helpful to you. He probably gets a commission on everyone he signs oh, sure. up for this program. Yeah, so FOA is insane. I, I need to know the story behind their prices. Like, something yeah. happens. They, they have some data that suggests that people are willing to pay double for things in this situation. Well, and I don't know You know, FYE it. stands for fuck you, everyone, so... That's right! <laughs> Our friend... Our millionaire friend used to work there in, in high school or college, right? Didn't he? In the mall? Was that? Yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was yeah. one of them. That was a crazy time. <laughs> it was like his only job. Now he works at yeah. the equivalent of Apple or something. We won't say where he actually works. Um, oh. Okay. Enough of that. So we're a big fan of these Jack-specific Simpson figures. Did you, get, did you get the rest of them? Did you complete your um, set? No, I'm not like you. I don't go to Target every day. So, no, I haven't been to a Target since. (sighs) You need to stop. I don't go every day. The running joke of the show. It's right by my house. It's like a shortcut to go through Target. I just say you live in the Target. You and Toy Scales, the two of you, they're like, oh, let's go to Target today. Listen, they don't have kids. Let's change change our intro. I got to get away from them. (laughs) Anyway. We saw some, uh, not leaks, I think it was on Big Bad Toy Store, for Series 2 of the minifigures. We saw that, and then I mentioned that the Series 2 of the 5.5-inch scale was on Amazon. As okay, just, who, who is in that? Uh, Mo and Lisa. Okay, and then I saw a photo of Mint in Box Bartman. So oh. I have to assume that that is also coming soon, whether it's in Series 2 or not, I don't know. Okay. So these minifigures, you have Krusty and Sideshow Bob in his prison outfit. Terrific. And then Itchy and Scratchy, the actual Itchy and Scratchy, not like robot versions like Super 7 right. gave us. And then Bart with one eye closed. Yeah, he's and doing I like am wink. assuming he's I'm assuming he's like setting up a slingshot shot. And that's why. Maybe. Because one of the hands is kind of like this. So I feel like that's got to be it. He's shooting something. There's some sort of. Okay aiming situation now big bad toy store has these double the cost of what that first box set cost at target so i don't know if double that's the an cost error of the box set is are these a box set or are these individual well, I, I don't know well i don't know that either okay i don't know it's like a case that's too much what are they fye it's too much i'm right just this is what i'm saying something's wrong something is wrong here something yeah. something in math ain't math that expression math ain't math so we'll, we won't really worry about the price. Let's just talk about character selection. What do you think okay. about this character selection for series two? Um, I'm on board with it. I think Krusty's yeah. a strong. I think Krusty's a strong second second tier. Yeah. I think he interacts well yeah. with the family. I think yep. Sideshow Bob again. You can do a lot with the family Bart. You can do a lot with the family as well. Itchy and Scratchy. Yeah. They're just kind of fun. You it's can kind fun. of put them. You can put them into scenes with or without yeah. the rest of the characters. It's just having them do fun stuff. I think the weakest link is obviously Bart, um, which is good. I mean, you need a Bart. You yeah. need something to carry on like as the Darth right. Vader of the line. So you, you need something, need something, something that's... You do. The people you do. Be like, so, oh, the Simpsons. I right. know, I know oh, Bart. I remember, I know I remember Bort. Yeah. I remember Bort. My remember son Bort is also Simpson. named Bort. 
Now, I these are the only Itchy and Scratchy figures that have ever been released that aren't on those little pedestals that were required for the sound feature in right. the world of Springfield, right? Yes. So these are like the only clean versions of those characters. Outside of like something stylized by like Kid Robot or okay. something along yeah. those lines. Yeah. So that's good too. I think that I think these are fine. And yeah. they don't exist in reality, so that you could use them probably with the five inch figures and say like these are the real heights or I don't know. Now like, well here's the here's the other no thing. Do you height. think do you th- are they individual or are they a two pack? No, I don't think they would be a two pack. I'd be very I, excited I, I if they were, this was if a five they were individual. Oh, that just seems odd to continually put out a five pack of the random characters as opposed to just continually well they gotta keep the that family. skew on the pegs they gotta put something well, there why not just continually put out the family because we already have that we need something new okay but what are we they could do the, the family figures? in different outfits i would buy there's a few more outfits i would buy of the family. have you seen chief wiggum yet as the no, as the individual i, I haven't think, either i don't think he's out just like i haven't seen marge in the dolls i don't think she's in the current cases oh right Okay. But somebody had a picture of Marge, so I don't know anymore. Oh, but those, so there exists. were those Amazon listings for all of them, but they didn't have yeah. Homer for the dolls, and they didn't have Marge. Okay. So I, I don't know. You but. you scared me because you were like, this line is dead. And I'm like, well, what do you know? What are you talking about? Unless you were talking about a completely different toy line when you were messaging me the other day. This line is dead? Yeah. Maybe I was being ironic. You might have been. I don't know. I don't know what I was talking about. Didn't understand the context of it. So Yeah. No. That happens sometimes. Yeah. You sent me a link to a Kickstarter. Oh yes. For... <laughs> How did you come across this, first of all? So sometimes on my like Facebook feed, Kickstarter will come up with an ad. Oh so this okay. was just a generated Facebook ad for this Kickstarter. Oh, wow. They're pay. I mean, I guess you got to for Kickstarter. You yeah. got to advertise it. Yeah. And it's it's mermen. It's not mermaids. Mer-men. There's no ladies. No, it's, it's the mer-men. sausage party, or I don't know how does what's the anatomy of a merman? Is there a sausage? No, I don't it's like know. a mackerel. It's like a mackerel it's party. All, or like a it's like a clam a anchovy bake. sleeve clam. No, it can't be a clam bake. Well, it's a something. it's a it's a I don't know. I don't know how fish like they don't fish don't have penises, do they? They just release eggs, and the other fish like swims through them. And for, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, there's no fish penises. I don't think. I mean, I, there probably well, are. I don't know. So there's no mermen D. There's nothing to censor down there. No, that was always a funny, that was a funny SNL skit. And the guy finds a mermaid on the on the beach, and she's like, "You oh gotta god. do this to me." And you're, you're oh my god, like, yeah. what? what? What do you need to do? <laughs> We'll just keep it a second base. It'll be fine. Um, do you remember what it's called so that we can promote it? I don't off the top no, of my head. No, I don't head. either. But if Mermaids you just search for of... Kickstarters with mer- Merman action figures, yeah. <laughs> there probably shouldn't be too many of them. It'll pop up. Don't worry. They look While we're fun. Talking about, <laughs> they, they look fine. They really went hard on the nipples for some reason. Yeah. Like That's very distinctive nipples. And like a little low, I think. I don't know if these are based on something. But okay. like... From bare chest that I've seen, nipples tend to be a little higher up, but yeah, to each their own. Um, while we're talking about smaller toy lines and advertising, nine to five warriors. <laughs> while we're talking about nipples, nine to five warriors. This is oh. a toy line that I think happened. It was a Kickstarter that, or wasn't a Kickstarter, or was like some characters didn't get enough orders, and no, some did. I thought it was. I thought it was similar to how big bad toy store operates the naughty or nice where you know purchase of will equate to production of sure so if they didn't sell enough if they didn't do enough pre-orders the those characters just didn't didn't get made they at least didn't get slaughtered so they there's four that aren't released yet well there are four you can order right now major eraser tech sergeant scotchy colonel custard and commander chips for crisps who's like the pringles um each 25 bucks, which is pretty pretty reasonable for a small toy line. The reason that I mention this, I also listen to the Major Wrestling Figure podcast, and they reached out to them, sent them some free samples so that they would talk about them on the show. And sure enough, they got like a 10-minute commercial because they were just fawning all over them. More so the website 
than the actual toys because their website is very good. Okay. If you go to 9to5warriors.com, the numerical 9 and 5, yeah, they got a nice video at the top. They just have very clean photos. It's very easy to navigate. It's like mm-hmm. probably the best toy website that exists right now. It's just so well, so well put together. Um, and the toys are fun. I think the ones that got made, I think it was like the audience spoke very, very loudly about what they wanted from this toy line. Cause there were sure. other characters that they solicited that didn't happen that I think just didn't justify being their own figures. There's yeah. Like I think it was looking thing that I think was supposed to be it was rubber a rubber band. band. Rubber. Yeah. It was just a consistency thing over. I think everyone was like, Oh, these are kind of stylized towards um, food fighters. And then right, right. you had a character that was kind of made out of artificial sweetener. And oh, the she female just looked, figure? Yeah, she just kind of looked out of yeah. place among all these, yes. like, the amorphous cookie or whatever, right. the donut or whatever he was. Yeah, yeah. And there's a pencil, a couple pencils. They didn't make it. So yeah. um, this is all to say we would love to promote your toy if you want to send us some. So, sure. So... Uh, you can just uh, slide into our DMs. We will gladly. We just did. We'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. We can hand us some hands on on uh, nine to five warriors. So I don't know if they're. I mean, I guess these are doing well enough that they're like continuing to promote it. I don't know if we'll see a series two of some more characters in, you know, in line with what succeeded. It would be nice to see them. It would be nice. I think they're. Oh. I think they're put on the back of the packaging as. Right. As oh, you do you want so. those those unproduced characters? Do you want to see those as toys? Because I feel I like think, maybe we the the ship has sailed. Like the people spoke. Oh, you think we don't really away want from that. We maybe, don't really need maybe these, do like these a guys. Redesign. Maybe do a redesign. Yeah, of maybe them or redesign something. or maybe just make some new characters. I think that's probably the way to go. Yeah. Like well, we, I mean, yeah. You, you see what works. Towards... You see what people want. Right. Make more so like give that. Us more of that. Right. Give us more of that. Exactly. Give me what I want. What's the line? What did you say? You're gonna give it to me. You're gonna give or it to you're, me. You're, you're gonna Love sell it. me that one. You're uh, gonna sell me that. One. Whatever. Either, it is. either way, you're gonna. You're gonna is gonna is the thing. You're gonna. You're gonna do that. Yeah. You're gonna. Very cool. Did you see this Star Speeder three thousand? I did. It's a D twenty three exclusive. Does that scare you? You're not gonna be able to get it. I think it's limited to only like three thousand. That's not a lot. It's not a it's lot. It's not a lot. It's so big. it goes. How large it can fit? What twenty two figures? I don't know. So I have. So this is this was basically just created for. It's like the model that's outside of the Q, like during the Q line. It's that model for so, for Star Tours for Star Tours for Star Tours. Yes. So it's not yes. the actual model that you fly in, which is. Which is not a real thing, anyway. No, but they did create that one. I do have that one. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So I already have. I already this have a very Star much what you. This looks very much like what you fly in, though. The but way the doors it's... open and you would walk through. Yeah, the coloring's off though, but the coloring's to match what's in the Q line. It's in the Q line there. Oh, you mean the outside of it? Correct. Well, I'm thinking. I'm looking at the inside photos. I was like, "That's where you sit. That's with where you staging, sit, and you're you the spy." Decked up. I don't know. I'd love to see this thing with like. It's like a carrying case. It's like the. Uh, it's like the. It's beautiful. The, the uh, what is that? The um the troop transport. The Darth Vader. Oh, the, the rebel right. troop transport, where it's just like just load all your figures in there and carry it away, kids. It's got a little base that lights up, or it's got some cables coming out of it. I don't know what. Okay. Does it float? I did it's see am- the cables. It's, it's very interesting. I don't know. Do we know how much this is going to cost? No, $300, probably, well, it says here. $300. Oh, $300. Forget that. No. I, I can. I think I that's, can... like, compared to a Haslab, I think that's fine. I think that's think very that's reasonable. Fine, but what are the, what are the, go- what are the, what are the figures? That co- well, it does come with figures. Never mind. It comes, comes with an exclusive. And the Pee Wee Herman and the Droid. people, yeah, and he's an exclusively carded. But oh, I have, carded? I have all that. He's carded too, yeah. Oh, but it's like the Disney card. It's not like no. I already card. bought my Disney droid. I bought that zombie. He came up the 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 Astromech zombie. Yeah, that's fun too. I think this is mm. awesome. I spicy love this. Coke. Spicy Coke. Yeah, spicy is this Coke. Christmas. <laughs> they have the no. spicy Coke for Christmas. Oh, do they? No, I take I take just Coke. And then I take ginger beer and I just mix the two together. 
you've never been we talked about this before you didn't get to go to harry potter when you were down here with me i've been to Have it. you ever no, been we've, you've been yes. to it since okay did you get to right. try the butter beer yeah i i prefer did you try the frozen Lucky's brew over the the butter beer i think i tried the frozen i could be wrong okay I remember the frozen butter beer because it's like an icy, it's like a caramel yeah. icy, and then they put this cream on top to to replicate like the foam because it doesn't naturally foam, so it's like mm-hmm. a marshmallow flavored whipped cream kind of thing. Okay. I remember being that most delicious thing I've ever had, and I've been chasing that flavor ever since. Oh, but I haven't found anything, and it probably if I went back now, it wouldn't even taste the same because like things yeah. they always change recipes and stuff, and it probably has they like. Do cancer causing ingredients that they had to like <laughs> slyly remove or something right. allegedly that's why, no, you're, not even that's why your pitch black will never about? taste the same that's right that's why pitch black could never be the same that's why we have weird sounding muppets um but yeah i'm just anytime there's like a caramel flavor at something i was like could yeah. this be could this be but no never 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 is gonna happen yeah. <sighs> Anything else we want to talk about? I feel We've like gone through a lot. We've we we talked a about a lot. You know, we very did. quickly. We've talked about Miniverse tonight. Yes. They do the happy hour. So I found oh, the yes. happy hour end. It was like a display at the end of the toy aisle one day at Target. And I was mm-hmm. like, this isn't supposed to be here. It says 21 plus. This is not supposed to be a toy. So right. the other day, I go to that same Target probably the next day because we go every day. So many Targets. It's over by the wine at yeah. the end of the aisle so you're like walking to leave you go buy it so i grabbed a couple and i got a couple of sets i was really chasing the beer mo- the beer steins and then mm-hmm. the tequila because it has that that golden the octopus, octopus. Yeah. and that to me is is the winner that's like the best possible one so today we went back we were doing some hurricane shopping and they had three left and i don't know if they'll replenish it or that's it but then I, I grabbed the last three the first one i opened there he is, oh, little wow. octopus. It's beautiful. See, that's that's great. Beautiful. And it's so nice. To compare and that, my, I my got... wife made it. She did the oh, resin. Oh, you didn't let her do so it. I you didn't. Did, you let her. I do didn't it? have to touch it. I didn't want to touch it and get sick. <laughs> oh really? It's so nice. It's, it's look at how formula. real it looks. It's crazy. Be no, it's not the, the new resin. formula. No, the new formula apparently sucks and doesn't harden. This is still it's the old terrible. stuff. So I'm yeah. wondering, so here's here's a story to juxtapose with yours. So I got one of the Lord of the Rings weapons building mini verses. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Oh no. So you gotta cure I got, it for like hours. You do. You do. Yeah. Because you have to add glitter to give it that that sure. sheen. And yeah. then that I did and they give you enough you can make tons of blades with it. So I got oh, I nice. got the most boring nice. of them all. I got I got the axe. Which uh, wasn't like the double axe; it was just a single no. axe. And of course, single my kid axe. wants to like do everything, and I'm like, "Oh, this is the new formula. We don't need." And I'm looking at the instructions; we don't need the the UV light. So we're doing it at like seven thirty, eight o'clock at night. Wait, you don't need a UV light? No, I read it. it I read it wrong. With air? I, I oh. read it wrong. <laughs> so I was like, "What?" So that's like let cure for fifteen minutes and then let set for three days and I'm like what the three hell? days no I'm exaggerating don't touch your toy don't touch your toy for three days kids it's safe at least so I made two and the first one came out very well and it comes with like it's just kind of like it's fun to unbox but like the final sure. the final thing is just kind of like underwhelming um I agree. but like you have to like sand down like it comes with a little anvil yeah. and hammer yeah, that you have to like pretend like you're you gotta sharpen your blade. blade your steel and th- well that's you the put thing the so lemon it comes with... with the salt like in like the house of dragons where he was putting the lemon over his, oh, his sword sure. Do you remember that yeah yes so like you have it comes with a little sanding block too to like right. get off all the extra burrs from the mold yep and what I found, because I, I made two, I left one alone for the most part, other than kind of taking off all those extra pieces. I made the second one, and I was like, oh, I wonder what will happen if I just kind of like make it look like the blade is sharp, and it just completely yeah. ruins it. It completely like it turns oh, so you like can actually like, sharpen the blade. No, you can't. It's just, it's literally it's just it. meant to take off the little burr the little burr pieces. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. So well, I ended up making an adult it. version. Maybe. <laughs> where you can make a really sharp, make an actual knife with it. Yeah. Well, I love... And it's 10 bucks because of the licensing for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 
I, I think that one they they stretch themselves a little too thin. I love the the after hours though, happy hour. The That's drinks. fun. They're, they're just they're too perfect. Look. They look so perfect. I don't know how many other drinks you can make. White Russian? What other drinks are there? They all kind of start to look the same after. My they wife do. really wants the old fashioned for her Mad Men pops because that's what Don would always drink on that show. Okay. So I, we're not done. We're not done buying them yet, I guess. Cause we no. still got to get that one. They could do the blowjob shot. That'd be funny. <laughs> they wouldn't do what that. What does it look like? What is it What is it made with? Uh, that was just like the shot and they put the whipped cream Oh, the whipped like, cream. You, you had to, yes. like, stand well, on the counter and then go down on the counter. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. I mean, that's what you they could were have telling said no. all those girls to do. I didn't do it. <laughs> you were like, you're you're going to do it. You're going to do it. That doesn't sound like me at it's all. On not shirt. in that context. It's on his, it's on his shirt. <laughs> Don't take no for an answer, Bill. Isn't that what you always told me? You have to be shows. assertive. Got to be assertive. Listen, you're not going to stand up for yourself. Who's going to do it? No. All right, everybody. We're, we're, we're role models at this point. We, we're, we're raising. We need to raise strong people. The start of the future needs to be strong. Is that on us? Well, Is how am I to... If I were to come and... back... I came back to the car with with no popcorn bucket. How would I explain that to my children? They would have They would have never been able to look you in the eye again. Be like, sorry, kids. Your dad father. couldn't couldn't follow through we wasted an hour and a half driving we could have been home he wasted an hour because getting the popcorn bucket wasn't a waste of an hour <laughs> <laughs> our lives have been fulfilled <laughs> because I mean, we have this fulfilled with plastic bucket. i mean like like you know we've come we've to the conclusion that you and i are more plastic than anything else at this point it's not just us it's just in the air the microplastics yeah, there's no escaping it at this point we might as well accept it and embrace it embrace it 100 percent. yeah that's right that's right all right anything else for this week no this has been a great show it's been a good show we've had a good run it's a big week for us all right everybody well you know what we say we don't want to grow up but we already did have a great week everybody bye everyone 